Hello, and welcome to a Sunday edition of Robert vs. the New York Times Crossword. Today we're going to do the Sunday, December 17th, 2023 Crosswords. Go for that 1,388 day streak. So here's your spoiler alert for the Sunday Mini. If you'd like to play along, pause the video here, click on the link in the description below. And it's always free to play. Alright, let's do it. Uh, bat, hinge, ants, uh, TSA, pins, page, this is sub Santa. Something needed for a game of cricket or an animal that eats crickets. Double meaning of bat there. Got bowling pins. The actual Santa in that movie. <laughs> Classic movie, classic movie. Was there a remake? There, was there? Uh, suddenly this question has come to my mind, so may as well Google it. There was a remake in 1994, but I'm only thinking I've only seen the original. The 1947 classic. Mara Wilson. Why does that name sound familiar? Matilda. Okay, that's what I thought. Uh, right. This girl looks like the girl from Matilda. <laughs> In this picture. Somewhere. This one. Anyway. Now for the main event. <laughs> that's the Sunday Daily Grid, which is by Jeremy Newton today. Here's your spoiler alert. If you'd like to play along, pause the video here. Click on the link in the description below. Daily Grid does require a New York Times game subscription. Today it's called Get Over It. We have a note here. For seven key squares in this puzzle, and I see some, some yellow happening here, an appropriate rebus will be accepted, as well as single letters from 122 across. If you're still stuck, further explanation of today's theme can be found on Wordplay. Wow, so if you're still stuck, read the blog is what they're saying. Um, intriguing, intriguing. Sunday is the uh, the large puzzle of the week, 21 by 21, so it often can accommodate bigger themes. <laughs> Not necessarily better, sometimes better. Also, the only day of the week that has a title, so get over it. So let's hope we can figure this one out. I already like that they uh, they make it seem like it's going to be kind of tricky. Let's hope it's pretty tricky. Let's see what uh, Jeremy Newton has in store for us. Let's get into it. Delights, son of Isaac, uh, Jacob, alternative to Google is Bing, make out in London. So snog, this is some kind of bridge crossing a river, where Lords Byron and Tennyson st studied. What is that, Cambridge, no? Mission across the Bab al Mendeb Strait from Djibouti, is it Yemen? Delights are joys, and an Omani uh, neighbor is a Yemeni. Private meeting is a one-on-one. -on -one. Must drink from the tap question mark. Seesaw powered vehicle on railroad tracks. I know what those are talking about, but I don't know what they're called. This is ale probably. Bay Area startup mecca. Silicon Valley doesn't fit. Negative connector, nor. They often need new suits for work for short. Move up. Add a girl. Add as cilantro to guacamole. Succession family is the Roy's. This is some kind of car. Left jobs on bad terms, say. Burned bridges, I think. They may be wireless. Remote button. Home of the Rosa Parks Museum, I think it's Atlanta. Siren for one. So I think this is bras. Powered by. Mass approvals are amen. Space heater, question mark, is a sun. Cambridge University. I see. What did they say? Single letters from 122 across. Okay, so I guess we, we might as well type in bridge here. And this is just burned bridges. I think we ignore it on the on the other way. Powered by, right? Site of a claw machine. It's an arcade. So it's not Atlanta. It's Alabama. Abominate. 
add right move up climb mash in is that what that is hi there friend sounds reasonable of course but of course biggest club in vegas is the ace this is seducer this is fueled by this is detest okay fair it's not reasonable failed web venture in slang dot bomb is that what they're called or vips are mds how rubens are made on rye practices diplomacy builds bridges it's very similar to burns bridges but flabbergast astound must have to hand car who needs new seats for work this is palo alto da's i see district attorneys that kind of suit previously is air real dump is a sty put together fad figuring with colorful unkempt hair is it troll doll hey you murals or graffiti some kind of art Checker to Mecca is a haji. Chooses a sidewalk over a subway, say. Hoofs it. Long story short. A, a bridge? Something? But this is going... Oh, this is going the bridge. A bridge mint or something. Oju. We also meant pods. A bridged epic, maybe? Oft repeated. A bridged tail. Life partner. Recreational. Use. Spouse here. One might sing an R&B ballad soulfully. Don Juan. Declaration upon arrival. Mormon church and it's our LDS. Hey bud, maybe. In like mate, your hair stand on end. Sensational reading material. What takes a toll? Question mark. Long-standing rivalries that probably feuds. The crown actress Claire Foy. Count on one hand? Question mark. I mean, uh, it's just... It's a lot for a lord to manage. It's a fife. Uh, um, um. 1937 Steinbeck novella of mice and men. I see we have ocean, okay, I think. And gulf and something. Bog. Uh, this is a ladies' man. I'm uh, not sure. Adler, who outwitted Sherlock Holmes, is Irene Adler. Worn to a frazzle. I made it. Okay, stir up is royal. How some Cajuns converse. Do the bare minimum. Post. Crum luggers and ant. Expansive. Pedicure target. Just toe. Go ahead and decide. Co-star of airplane and hot shots. I want to say Jeff Bridges. Not because that's just correct, but a significant piece can be opus. Up to you. Left quickly without. Rushed out or something. Ample. Pick your target. Maybe it's toe. Olive oil. Popeye. Lloyd Bridges. Pulp here. What takes a toll? I think it's pulp. Malicious Mr. Hyde. A fiction. 50 school dances. A hop. 2002 hit song for No Doubt. Arabian Nights Prince. Okay. A regular in Italian clubs, question mark. Salami, maybe. Textures to me, in my opinion. Due divided by due is uno. Lapis lazuli is a blue gem. Cry for a spell, a la Kazam. Taking after Allah, like the moon in a solar eclipse. Required EMT skills, CPR. Over the line, a bridge too far. Sport is where bitter brews IPA don't give up on keep at perfectly refurbished like new operator of the Texas Eagle and Southwest Chief 
in the heart of midst. Mastodon's defense of their tusks. This is a two. Average text. Okay. Angsty and brooding, maybe emo. School email ender is edu. I think this is in Creole. As we chain with a sunrise in its logo. Del Taco. Sludge is goo. Call him a ring for short TKO. Amtrak, I see. Rescue dog is an adoptee. How ancient mariners relied on the stars. Lowly deckhand. A swab. Oh, I see. Are you serious? What? Obnoxiously fratty sort. Unlinked from social media posts, say. California San Blank County. Allow me to demonstrate. May I? Barbecue leftovers are ashes. Who boy. Brainstorm ID8? No. Past disagreements that are no longer of concern. Water under the bridge. Yeesh. Like some economies and moisturizers. How ancient, right? Reese Witherspoon here. Office monitor is OSHA. San Mateo County. Apt words spelled from this puzzle's cover letters from top to bottom. So bog, something, gulf, ocean, uh, lagoon, lake, and sea. Bygones. Okay, well, one more star remain is easy. So I guess this is hella good. Ahmed. Como esta usted? Rear lit. Okay. Some low risk government issues, I guess, are T bonds. Take for a ride. Natalie Cole. Oil based. Interesting. Ego. Air or chair. Little Carmen is a Yui. As a guide. These are domes. 1 p.m. takes a toll, like on a clock. Urban art. Dum Dum is an ass. Moose. D tag. And Haji. Alright. Fortunately, not as tricky as I thought, but at least interesting. At least interesting. So, first of all. First of all, I don't think the, uh, I don't, I, I think maybe not coloring in the bodies of water would have made this a bit more interesting. Harder to see for sure, but maybe highlight the bodies of water at the end and just have the bridges. I think that would have made it a bit harder, uh, but also more of a revealing thing, right? So I, I, I think I agree with this execution here, right? Like you read the bridge in one direction, the direction the bridge is going. And then since it's passing over the thing going underneath it, you don't see the hidden thing, right? But it's also, the hidden thing is really also not part of the, the fill. Maybe I would have complained if the bodies of water weren't colored in as being hard to see. Um, who knows? I could complain about all manner of things, right? Uh, yeah, so we've got the interesting bridge mechanic, bridge in one direction, and then sort of hidden in the other. And then we've got this extra bygones because they're all water under the bridge. This extra feature of the puzzle that the letters that are being covered Spell something out. Spell something out. Interesting. So, bog. I guess you could have a bridge over a bog. Not that classically, I don't think. Probably most bridges aren't over bogs. I don't know. Over a bay, a gulf, an ocean, a lagoon, a lake, or a sea. Now, I do think that the uh, the actual bridge phrases, and to be to be totally fair, like... It's not like bridge appears in a ton of phrases. Certainly not broken up over multiple words, but I think the bridge phrases are not that interesting. Burned bridges, builds bridges, a bridge too far. I mean, for one thing, in, in most of these, they actually just mean bridge. Uh, 
at least in these four, they literally just mean bridge. Um, at least in you know Cambridge, it's part of another word, abridged, and then Lloyd Bridges. So there's some some themers where the bridge is hidden, but it's probably really hard to get this many phrases with bridges in, in them. So. And this is serving as a revealer, so I guess I don't mind so much that this one, the bridge means bridge, but burn bridges, build bridges, and I bridge too far. I mean, I guess they are all metaphorical bridges, but it's not like it's Brooklyn Bridge or something, you know, but... Yeah, overall, I'd say I like it. I like it because it's trying to do something interesting. And there's like multiple layers to figure out. Yeah. It just wasn't as tough as I thought, given this note. I don't think, uh, I don't think this note is really necessary. I think you could just present the puzzle as is. Is the wordplay blog up yet? We could take a look at the wordplay blog. How do I actually get to the wordplay blog? There you go. It is up. It's a striking puzzle to solve, but demands a close look from the beginning. Okay, so that's a long explanation, and I already spent long enough trying to explain it. Uh, not that you needed the explanation. I do like looking at what it looks like, say, in the newspaper. Have they colored in? Yeah. Do they, do, when they print the puzzle in the newspaper on Sundays, do they print those pages in color? I guess they must. Yeah, they all look about the same. I would say our online version is the one that looks least like water, but or at least obviously water, I guess. <laughs> None of them really look like water. Anyway, I think I've spoken long enough on this thing. Let's look through it, see what we can learn. Hand car. Wasn't going to get that, but of course we can all picture it, mostly from cartoons, I feel like. Palo Alto, where Stanford is. Mash in is interesting. You mash in cilantro. I sort of question that as a phrase. Dot bomb, I don't, don't think I knew this phrase, but... Kind of like it. It's certainly gettable. Right. I, we should have taken a look at these uh, these phrases that involve the bodies of water. Also, it's an interesting uh, interesting process to make this puzzle, probably. Putting this puzzle together is probably a lot of work, right? Because you're looking for phrases that block off a single letter, but you want the single letters to, to spell something out, and then you need them to be arranged reasonably in a grid. Of mice and men, right? Which almost has ocean in it, but not quite. So, Right, counts on one hand is 60. Why is this? Or count on one hand is 60. Uh, had an issue with counts yesterday also. Balls and a count. Turns out that was baseball. Thank you to the, uh, the commenter. But why is a count on one hand 60? I don't get it. Yeah, don't get it. Let me know. I'm sure. I'm sure one of you will tell me and I'll be like, oh, of course. But coast, it's kind of water based, but the include here is the verb. Al Lighter and Al Jackson. Don't know either of them, but.
that little division side is called Obelus. I've been at Del Taco a handful of times in my time living in uh, California. A dude bro I never heard of. But apparently it's slang. Derisive slang for, well, I'm sure we can imagine a dude bro type. Oil based is interesting. It's an interesting to include also. Economies and moisturizers can both be oil based. It's interesting. As a guide is also not the best, but still an impressive puzzle, I'll say. Yeah, DA's lawsuits. I've watched exactly one episode of Succession. Um, this is a nice misdirect, I'll turn him to a cab. But I, I know about the Roy's mostly from crosswords, if we're being honest. I don't even do that many crosswords. <laughs> it's kind of kind of a lie. Uh, um, um. That's questionable. Also, I feel like. But you know, it's all it's a large puzzle in Creole. Large puzzles are hard to fill. And this theme was is not the most obvious thing to try to lay out either, so... Should be a bit kind, I think. Yeah, it's not the cleanest thing, but I, I guess I wouldn't expect it to be, given the theme constraints. In the end, it's a nice, it's a nice Sunday puzzle. It's a nice Sunday puzzle. Like it tries to do a lot of things, and I think basically it succeeds. So, quite an impressive achievement for uh, our constructor Jeremy Newton. It'd be just below average. I used to try really hard to get sub ten every Sunday, but these days it just seems to happen fairly often. Seven percent faster than average. I think I'm the first person to click the uh, the sync button, but yeah, these days. Most of the time it's sub 10. So maybe I need a new bar. Anyway, uh, it's too early for new plus word puzzles because it's not tomorrow in Britain yet. But because of that, I can do the flashback puzzle, which I guess is going to be a weekend. Oh, December 17th quiz. I want, I want the December 17th quiz, right? Well, let's see. So we do this one already? We did this one already. So I guess, wait, on the weekends, we can do flashback. Let's see. Edward Jenner tests and publicizes one of the first vaccines for smallpox in 1796. A Polish crane operator, Anna Valentinovich, is fired. She helps spark a strike, the Solidarity Union, and the fall of communism in Poland. So I believe that was the 80s or 70s, 80s, I think. 1980, okay. During the Islamic Golden Age, the physician Al-Razi used an ingredient that's spreading from India, sugar, to make bitter medicine palatable. Okay, so it's certainly before 1796. But what century do I think is the Islamic Golden Age? Is it like the 1200s or something? Is it later? 1200, 900, or it's earlier, okay. A Filipino busboy patents a toy that can spin, sleep, and do tricks for the yo-yo. It's the first of several US crazes. Okay, so surely it's here. In like the 40s, 50s, 28, not too far off. Suleiman the Magnificent seizes the port of Mocha in Yemen. It exports coffee, which will be banned, embraced, and called Satan's drink. Suleiman the Magnificent. Maybe he's 1200s. Nope, 15, 1538. All right. I mean, I placed it right. I'm just trying to know something. Unable to meet demand at their store, Rose and Jim Totino develop and popularize a supermarket staple, frozen pizza. Like Totino's Pizza Rolls. 
I think that's got to be between the 20s and the 80s, right? Like the 50s? 60s, all right. One of the Union Army's first all-black regiments assaults Fort Wagner near Fort Sumter. Its bravery helps lead 180,000 black soldiers to enlist. So is this the story told in glory? The Massachusetts Regiment, whatever. Anyways, that'll be in the 18, mid-1800s, right? 1863. William III and Mary II agree to England's Bill of Rights. It protects free speech, but only for Parliament. Critics were still regularly punished. So William and Mary were the 1600s, right? Early 1600s? Late 1600s. All right, well, Leonardo, Leonardo da Vinci starts painting the Mona Lisa. It's an early example of the three-quarters pose now standard in portraits. I think Leonardo was the 1500s or 1400s or something, right? 1503, okay. Did it. All eight correct. Second week in a row. Nice. Didn't know the dates. Didn't know all the dates anyway, but... Knew them within enough range to place them correctly. Alright, 99, greater than 99% of people know that the fall of communism happened in Poland, happened after uh, 1796. That's good. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And I'll see you tomorrow for a Momo Monday. See you then.